Say after all the rain that we've had this last week, I feel like I feel for them. Even though it's nothing compared <laughs> yeah, to that. Yeah, we don't have anything time, to complain I'm about. I'm like, it's been wet the last few yeah. days. I wake up this morning and... Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, We almost yeah. forgot what the sun felt like. It almost I felt know. like a summer day, like earlier in the summer. Well, you know, temperatures were well above average today, okay. so it was really nice. Felt it, yes. Yeah, much nicer than what we were dealing with earlier in the week. So things are definitely changing as we head into the next few days. So here's a live look. You can see we're looking at just some high clouds up above. This is our downtown LA camera looking at the 10 freeway. Just a gorgeous afternoon. I don't know what everybody else was doing, but I have a feeling everybody was outside just, you know, getting some of that vitamin D, that warmth on their face, especially because we had all of that rain uh, earlier in the week. And we are definitely well above average in terms of rain. So I'll get you those numbers in just a moment. But take a look. We're still dealing with temperatures in the 70s. So today for downtown LA, we topped out at 77 degrees. Right now, downtown at 72. Not a bad evening at all. 70 for the beaches, 71 for the valleys. It's still a little bit chilly up in the mountains at 46. So the sun slowly going down as as we speak, we do have some lighter winds, light to calm. Really no advisories, no warnings right now, which is really nice. And then here's a look at our rain total. So since we set the rain gauges back down to zero on October 1st, and with all the rain we just got the last few days, we are well above average. We are over nine inches of rain. This is for downtown LA. And then if you want to count from the calendar year, we're just under five inches. Take a look at where we should be normally. So you could see we are definitely well above average, and we're hoping we stay that way throughout the rest of this. And so today, Today, 10 to 15 degrees above average. It's going to stay mostly clear as we head into the overnight hours. Then tomorrow, temperatures will cool down as that sea breeze returns, but temperatures will remain above average. Maybe not quite as hot as we were dealing with today. Yeah, so take a look at the rest of the country. Again, no complaints. This is why we are here in the Southland. But on the eastern seaboard, they're dealing with some rain and then also some of that rain turning to sleet and then going into that snow pattern as you head into the New England area. But here in the Southland, we have this nice high pressure system really pushing through. So that's what's bringing us the nice warm conditions. But there's also a low pressure system to the north of us. This low will continue to press through the region and that will mean slightly cooler conditions. There is a very slight chance. I know you don't want to hear this word showers, rain, very slight possibility as we head into Monday. Monday on MLK Monday. So if we do see any moisture, about a tenth of an inch or less, but definitely know that it will be much colder, slightly below average. And then once the system passes, we're looking at a nice warm up on the way and temperatures will slowly warm back up to above average territory by the end of the week. All right, so here's a look at your seven day forecast. So we are looking at temperatures still slightly above average, a mix of 60s and 70s for Sunday. MLK Monday will have some clouds filling in, low 60s, and then slowly warming up as everyone's heading back to work, heading back to school on Tuesday. By Friday, temperatures will climb up slightly to the mid to upper 70s for some spots. Back to you guys.